Hey, my name is Bernhard Schnecker, I'm president of Freeling USA and I'm bringing you today a wonderful and very revolutionary product, the milk chiller from Freeling. Now this is something that any hotel restaurant operator, coffee shop operator will love because this takes all the guesswork and all the headaches from uh, out of your operation how to serve dairy products in in the coffee shop or in the restaurant. Um, this machine has actually several very unique features and I show you how this works. You would open the lid and you have, you take a regular milk carton, gable top milk carton and the new cartons have those little screw tops like the orange juice cartons and you insert this disposable plastic straw into the opening of the milk carton like so. And then you take the milk carton and you slide it into the cavity of the milk chiller. Now you see here the milk carton goes in in a light, slight angle, so it doesn't go in straight, it goes in an angle. And the reason for this is th that we want to capture the last drop of milk in the bottom of the carton. Okay, you have this little air hose and this hose connects here to the opening of the plug and you close the lid and you're in business. Now here on the display you see here it says whole milk. On the side of the unit you have three little buttons. Number one, when you push the button it will change to half and half, one percent, two percent, skim, fat free, soy, cream and again whole milk. Button number two will change that display in German, in Italian, into French, into sp Spanish, and into English. And most important, button number three will display the actual temperature of the milk inside the milk chiller in Celsius as well as in Fahrenheit. Okay, now if the customer comes to the milk chiller and wants to add some milk to his coffee cup, uh, he will basically uh, hold the milk, the coffee cup under the spout and pushes the button and as he pushes the button we're pumping air into the unit, into the milk container and as long as he's pushing the button the milk will dispense. When he let go it stops and the remaining milk in the straw will be sucked back into the unit and continuously refrigerated. Now since you cannot see how much milk is still in the container we put a little weighing mechanism into the machine that will actually weigh the entire unit and as the milk le level drops the machine gets lighter and I can mimic this now by lifting it up a little bit and you will see here on the display it will say low. It alternates with the milk contents and it will say low. So the customer can still push the button to get some milk but this is a great indication for the barista or restaurant manager that this thing is almost empty and you can actually adjust the warning when it comes on depending on your operation. Now when this thing blinks and says low the only thing what you have to do is take a new milk carton, put a new straw in there, come to the machine, disconnect, disconnect the air hose, take this out, throw this away, put the new milk carton in, push the air hose into the connector, close the lid and in 10 seconds flat you're basically back in business with no cross contamination, no bacteria buildup, nothing to clean, nothing to worry because every time you put a new carton in there you start with a fresh hermetically sealed container from the dairy. Now there are some other features in the unit and I can show you this here. The base basically can be connected and screwed into any surface so it can be, um, I mean the unit cannot be stolen or you can mount it on the side of a countertop so it doesn't slide off. The other nice thing is each unit connects like a Lego to another unit so you can have a whole battery of several units that are interconnected so one is not like this, one is not like that. They all stand like little soldiers side by side. Another nice feature in the back is that you can 
take the unit, put it in the base, and you see here there's a little connector, so you can actually put a lock or a little tie strap around it, so nobody can steal it when the base is connected to the countertop. Here on the side, you see the three buttons that I showed you before for the dairy product, for the language, and for the temperature. Here's the on-off switch, and the cable just plugs in here like a little laptop, and you can actually route the cable also underneath the base in this little channel, so it looks nice and neat. This is, in a short version, what the milk chiller does. It saves you a lot of money because you don't need to use those little mini moose, those little creamers, and here you have it, the milk chiller from Freeling.